Hey guys, we will now go through setting up your Dahua DVR. Let's get into it. We will now go through installing our surveillance hard drive into our Dahua DVR. First, we will go through identifying the screws in order to remove the cover of our DVR. We will now remove the four screws holding the cover in place. Revealing the main PCB inside. We will now pre-install the two screws that will hold the hard drive in place. Place the hard drive inside the DVR casing. And we will now add the other two screws that hold the hard drive in place into the casing. We will now install the included SATA power cable which is slotted and can only go in one way. We will now install the SATA data cable which is also slotted and can go in one way. We will now reinstall the cover, clipping it in place and installing the screws in the reverse order. And please forgive the cameraman for the shot being out of frame. And that was installing our surveillance hard drive in our Dahua DVR. So we're gonna go through setting up your Dahua XVR 4.0. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the region, South Africa. Make sure your time zone and your system time is correct. Then we're going to go next to continue. Software license agreement, you can go through this uh, if you want to. You're going to select I have read and agree to terms. Then we're going to go next to continue. Setting up your password. You can confirm the password. You can put a hint there as well. And your unlock pattern has been selected. You're going to go next to continue. You're going to draw the unlock pattern. We're going to draw it once more. Exactly the same. Yeah, you can set up your password protection. Uh, we're not going to do security questions, but you can. And then we're going to do reserved email. What will happen is if you forget your password, it will send you a code to your reserved email, which you will then get a code and you can reset your password. So we're going to set up the customer's email address here. Enter. And we're going to go next to continue. This is where we set up your network IPv4. We don't have a network cable connected at the moment, so we're going to skip this. So click next to continue. Same with P2P, even though it's enabled and will always say offline because we don't have a cable connected yet. The QR code on the left would be to download your DMSS app. On the right is the serial for the QR code to scan once you are in the app. We're going to go next to continue. This is where you set up your coding. So at the moment it's set for general, so 24 7. You can select all and then you can erase that, select motion and then when you draw from 0 to 24 it will populate Sunday to Saturday and remember this is for camera A1 so you want to copy to select all your cameras, click OK and we're gonna go next to continue. 
this is where your hard drive is found we're going to select the hard drive and we're going to format the hard drive data will be cleared are you sure to continue formatting we're going to say yes we're not going to clear the database we're just going to say okay we're going to put in the machine password click okay this busy formatting the hard drive now operation success we're going to click okay saving data we'll now reboot the dvr dvr is initializing when you right click it will take us back to the setup wizard here we go so as we said earlier the network we are going to skip for now so click next p2p we will skip as well next to continue the recording is already set on motion so we will go next to continue address has already been formatted all status is normal so we're gonna say okay to finish we will now change the resolution to 1080p click okay to continue click okay to finish and that was setting up your Dahua DVR and XVR 4.0 we will now go through getting your Tahua DVR online. First, what we're going to do, we're going to get into the main menu. At the bottom left, we're going to click Network. At the top, TCP IP. There'll be a predefined IP address there. We will now install our Ethernet cable, which is already connected to the router. We will now go into the Modify, so Pencil. Can enable DHCP and click OK. You will see the DNS is already set to DHCP as well. You can click apply. And when we go back, go back into network settings, you should get a IP address which looks familiar to your network. You can now deselect DHCP and click OK and that will cause that IP address to be static as well as your DHCP will be static now as well click apply so if we go bottom left P2P you'll see your device status changes to online and now you can download the app using the QR code on the left and you can scan the QR code on the right once you are in the app and that was how to get your Dahua DVR online Open Google Lens and select search with your camera. You will now scan the QR code on the DVR that says mobile client. You will now follow the link. It will open a page that says download for Android. Click on that link. Once you arrive at the Play Store, select install to install the DMSS app. Click open. You can scroll through the tutorial and select the arrow to continue to the next page. Read the prompt and select OK. The recommended region is South Africa. Select South Africa. Select Done. I have read and agreed to terms. Select Next. We're going to skip ahead. And that was downloading and installing the DMSS. We will now go through how to add your DVR onto your DMSS app. We will now select add device. You will now scan the QR code on the DVR that says device serial. We don't have a security code so we're going to click next to continue. On the left, you're going to select NVR, XVR. At the top, we're going to select DVR, XVR. You will now add a device name. We will now add in the device password. We will select Save, top right corner. Device was saved successfully. Time zone is correct. We will not select DST and we will go next to continue. We will leave UPnP enabled. We will not be using third party DDNS. 
and we will go done to continue. The device will attempt to open your cameras. At the moment there is no cameras connected, so it will be empty. You can select back. DVR is successfully added to the DMSS app. And that was how to connect your DVR to your DMSS app. We will now go through how to add notifications to your DMSS app. The first thing we are going to do is go to your device tab on your DMSS app and make sure your device has been added to the device list. You will now select the three dot menu and select device details. You will now select multi-channel alarm subscription. You will now enable the alarm notification for your device. You will now select motion detection. You now select the channel or the camera you want to select for motion detection. Hit the back button. Click save. And motion detection has now been enabled for notifications on your DMSS app. We will go through how to unsubscribe and remove a device from our DMSS app. First, we will go into our device tab on our DMSS app. We will now select the three dot menu next to the device name. We will now select device details. You will now select multi-channel alarm subscription. You will now deselect the tab next to your device name. Click OK. The device has been unsubscribed successfully. You will scroll up until you see delete and you will select delete. Click delete. If it says fail to disable notifications, it could be your device is offline. Click ignore. Your device has successfully been removed from the DMSS app. Today we will go through how to reset your Dahua DVR. First, you're going to go into your main menu. You will now go into maintenance center. On the left, you will go to default. And you will select your default. So if you made a setting that you want to change, just click default. If you want to set it factory default, select factory defaults. Click OK to continue. Put in your admin password. Select OK. The device will now factory default and reboot when finished. Once the DVR reboots, you will now be in the wizard and the DVR has been reset.